Hey everybody, Lee with LG Speed and Custom, and in this video we are going on a Washington road trip. We are currently waiting in line to get on this ferry. This is the Coho Ferry. And the Coho goes from Victoria, where we live, 17 miles south to Port Angeles, Washington. From there, we've got three things on our agenda for our Washington trip. Richard has bought an engine for his, what year is your truck, 61? 63. 63 Ford pickup that he's building. Mercury pickup. So we're gonna stop and pick up an engine for him. We're probably gonna do that on our way back. We're gonna stop and see our friend Bruce Donnellan. We've stopped at his place many times in videos before. Awesome guy, super cool collection of early Fords. So we're gonna go check his place out. And we're also going to the Puyallup swap meet, the early bird swap meet. So we're looking for parts for the 32. Richard's looking <clears throat> for parts for his truck. Shannon's looking for parts for her Meteor. So yeah. Let's go do it. So we're on the MV Coho right now, which is a ferry built in 1959 that runs between Victoria, BC, where we live, and Port Angeles, Washington. This is one of my favorite ferries because it is completely original, like right down to all the signs are still the original ones from 1959, all the flight fixtures. It's such a, such a cool piece. Like, look at this door behind us. It's great. So it's only 17 miles, but it's like an hour and a half ferry ride. And then we still got to go through customs when we get to the other side. So we got a little bit. Once we hit Port Angeles, we're going to head towards the, we're going to catch another ferry after that, the Edmonds Kingston Ferry, which is going to kind of take us into Seattle. And then we'll head north towards Bruce's place. We have now arrived in Port Angeles. Customs. We're now in Port Angeles, Washington, and we are heading towards chewing tobacco. Chewing tobacco. Richard needs chewing tobacco. And then we're heading towards Seattle. We're in Kingston now, about to catch the ferry to Edmonds. We have made it to Bruce's place just north of Seattle. So we're gonna hang out here for the night. I'll show you guys around in the shop. It's got some cool stuff in there. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna leave from here and go south to the swap meet. And for those new to the channel that don't, I, I just realized I never introduced what we're driving. This is brown sugar. This is my tow pig, 1972 Ford F350 crew cab that I converted to a dually. It's got a sterling 10 and a quarter rear end in it. It's got drop die beams up front with some custom coils that I configured in there. The back is Z7 inches, so the frame is dropped 7 inches, but it still has full towing capacity. Under the hood, 
We've got a 12 valve Cummins with a 47 RH automatic transmission. It's got air conditioning, Bluetooth stereo, the works. There's most of this build is on YouTube if you go further back in the channel. But yeah, there's the tow pig there. Anyways, let's go check out the shop. What time is it? Like 5.30? 10 to 6. 10 to 6? It's early. And we're leaving Bruce's house. We have arrived. All right, we're in. Let's go find some parts. Looking for another project now. Yeah. There's a hot rod project right there. 900 bucks, take it home. That was my first buy of the day. I just bought these four 890-15 white balls. All right, first load out to the truck. We got the tires. Richard got a gas tank. So Richard just bought a $400 32 Ford Roadster body, fiberglass to make a rear engine modified land speed roadster out of. So that's cool. Perfect race car material. Richard, this is the best bad idea you've ever had. All right, it's Tetris time. Fits, it all fits. We got the tires all tucked inside there. My strap box is up there. We got a strap out for the, we still got to pick up that 223 in Snohomish, which is where we're gonna go now. Oh, yeah, look at this thing. Wood drive. All right, we got about an hour and a half to Snohomish, so we're gonna head north.
So Richard's 223 adventure turned out to be a bust. Would not roll over with a bar. Pulled the cap off the valve cover and it looked like the Titanic inside there. But he did buy the carburetor linkage off of it. So on our way back, we stopped to get fuel and we found this place. Which is pretty rad if you're in the Ford trucks. I'm kind of in the Ford trucks. Got one crew cab over here. Second crew cab, four by four, over here. It's like Ford truck heaven down here. Nobody's around though. We came, we got a pocket full of cash from the swap meet. And yeah, there's nobody in the sales office to put us behind the wheel of a brand new Ford truck today. That little black 68 is real cool. Yeah, I like the 57. I'm not cool enough like 57. I've never had a fridge truck. Fridge truck is the only like old Ford truck I've never owned. Well, after Richard's 223 thing kind of fell apart, we just hit the highway, pedal to the metal, and head straight home. We were probably about an hour and a half from the border. So we crossed the border, hopped on one of BC ferries, came back over to the island and yeah, I got home about midnight last night. So it's too bad that Richard's 223 thing didn't work out. That was, I think one of the main reasons why he came along with us on the trip was to pick up that 223. It was supposed to be a good running engine and it turned out not to be at all, but he's not bummed out about it because he bought a race car project, which is way cooler than a 223 six cylinder. So that was, that was such a cool score. I'm glad that he bought it because when I saw it sitting there, like I also had race car ideas in my mind with that body. I mean, it was $400. So who can turn, even if it is a fiberglass race body, race body because like the doors don't open and close on it. It's just like a shell. So, but yeah, build a tube chassis, drop that thing on. He's planning on building a rear engine modified roadster. Richard races at Bonneville. He's got, well, if you guys have seen the videos when we went to Bonneville, we're with him. He's got a, the world's fastest Isuzu pickup currently, but I know he's always wanted to build something more on, he's a hot rod guy. He's got a Model A Roadster. He's built super cool Model A sport coupe. So he wants to build something more hot rod style. So with the rear engine modified Roadster, the engine is gonna, the engine will basically sit where you would normally sit in a Roadster, like in the cockpit area. And then you sit in front of the firewall area in like an enclosed body. It'll have a probably about an eight foot hood that he's, he was talking all about it on the drive home yesterday. He's thinking like an eight foot hood. He wants to run a 454 big block Chevy in it. I don't know if it'll be a 454, but he wants to do a turbo big block Chevy in it. So super cool opportunity for him to grab that. Uh, I didn't get too much. I got those tires that you guys saw earlier. I did find a Stuart Warner speedometer for the 32, I think. I don't know. I bought it because it was cheap, but then when I got it home and started looking at it, it only goes to 80 miles per hour, so I don't know. That kind of bugs me, but at the same time, I know my 32 probably will never go past 80 miles an hour, so it'll probably be fine. I think it'll be okay. Once I put it in there, it'll be great. And I also got... A shoebox Ford steering wheel, 4950 steering wheel. These are one of my favorite steering wheels and this one was only $15. So I grabbed it and brought it home even though I don't have a need for it. You guys remember that orange Model T Roadster pickup when we first got to the swap meet? It was orange with panel paint and stuff on. It was $900. I went back and tried to get that. I kind of lowballed him a little bit. I offered him 500 bucks and he wouldn't go past 700, which I mean, even at 700, even at 900, that was still a good deal for that thing. But I just didn't have 700 bucks. I only had 500 bucks left after buying the tires and this stuff. And we still had to get back home. And I really don't need that. Like it would probably just sit upstairs in the attic for however many years until I'm done building everything that I've already got. So hopefully somebody bought it because that was a really cool piece. Even if, again, it was a fiberglass car, but I think that was a really old fiberglass body, like maybe from the 60s. I don't know. That's, I don't, a cool car is a cool car. It doesn't matter to me if it's, you know, real Ford steel or, or just a cool fiberglass car. Cool is cool. So anyways, 
That was our Washington road trip. Brown sugar ran amazing. Didn't use any oil. No issues with that truck at all. That is such a rock solid, great road trip machine. Thanks so much to Bruce for letting us crash at his place. As always, that's such a great time. Bruce, man, he makes the best pizzas, makes them from scratch every time we go to his place. We have one of his delicious homemade pizzas. So thanks so much, Bruce. Much, much appreciated. And yeah, thanks everybody for watching. If you want to support the channel, get some cool LG Speed and custom merch, head on over to lgspeedcustom.com. Make sure to subscribe and hit notifications. Leave a comment on what you thought of this video. What was your favorite thing that you saw at the Puyallup Swap Meet? And yeah, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.